for tuning in for class today. We're going to be doing a 30 minute reformer class geared towards spinal mobility and spinal strength. So this class is going to leave your back feeling fantastic. So if you're ready for class today, go ahead and get on your reformer. Um, we've got a whole little uh, setup here right off the bat. So we're going to have our boxes on the reformer long ways. And if you have a stock Pilates reformer, I also have my platform extender on because we're going to be sit seated on that. Um, my spring is on a white, or if you're on a balanced body, you could be on a yellow. So what we're going to do is slide the carriage out and hold on to it and gently step into the well of your reformer. You're going to have a seat on the platform extender, and you kind of want to scooch your tush all the way forward towards the edge of the platform. Heels of the hands come to the outer edges of your box, and we're ready to go. We're going to take a big inhale through the nose, sit tall. Exhale, nod your chin toward your chest. Push the box as far forward as you can as you take a nice forward fold. Drop your chest heavy through your arms, let your head go. Think of shining your armpits down towards the floor so you get a nice stretch through your shoulders. Then sequentially roll your spine back up one vertebrae at a time, letting your head be the last thing to arrive. And then take another nice big inhale, we'll do that again, grow tall through your spine. Exhale, nod your chin towards your chest, push the box really far forward in front of you, drop your chest heavy through your arms, should feel so good, just let it go of your head, maybe nod a yes and no. And then sequentially roll the spinal column back up one vertebrae at a time, letting your head be the last thing to arrive when you come up. Then we'll move our right hand to the center of the box, still at the edge, so you have something to push against. Left arm's gonna come forward in front of you with your thumb facing up to the ceiling. We're gonna rotate our spine and ribs and shoulders as much as you can to the left and look all the way back at your left hand. The right arm has pushed forward a little bit, so that's why the box moves. And then we come back to our starting position with two squared shoulders. So it's an exhale to open the chest, rotate the spine, turn your head as much as you can, look back at your thumb, and then slowly coming back to your starting position. On this next one, we'll stay in that twisted position. Your hip bones are still facing forward towards your box. You're gonna take a big side bend, reach up and over, trying to keep your shoulders squared off to the direction that you're facing, and then come all the way back up, eyes follow that hand, look back at that thumb. Let's do that two more times. Inhale as you take a big stretch, let your ribs expand, push through the heel of your hand on the box, and come all the way back up. On this last one, you're gonna cartwheel your left hand on top of that right hand, drop your chest through your arms. I like to bend the elbows just a little bit towards the sides to make space for my head, and then slowly round your spine, roll yourself all the way back. Up. We'll repeat that on the other side. So left hand, heel of the hand right at the edge of the box. Right arm forward with your thumb facing up towards the ceiling. Three times you're going to open your right arm, twist, look all the way back at that right hand, and come back to your starting position. So again, the box moves as you rotate your spine because you're turning your shoulders. Last one here, you're going to maintain the rotation of the spine reaching that right arm up and over. Both of those shoulders are still kind of stacked, one on top of each other. Two more. Inhale, reach up and over. And bring it back up. And on this last one, you're gonna stack your right hand on top of your left hand, drop your chest through your arms. You can let your elbows bend a little bit around the spine and roll the spine all the way back up. Hang on to that box, carefully standing up and letting that carriage come back in towards the stopper. I'm gonna take my platform extender off. We don't need it anymore for the moment. And then change our spring setting out to a blue. So the blue on, the white off, and then we're gonna lie down onto our bellies, facing the headrest. Chest is gonna come off of the box and we're gonna grab both of our straps. We're going to hold on to the rope part right above the silver clasp. Activate the legs first, pointing those feet, squeeze your tush. So we don't want our legs to be dead weight here. We want them to be a little bit engaged. You're going to take an exhale as you sweep your hands. 
all the way up to the side of your thigh. Pull your abdominals in away from the box. Feel the muscles in your back kicking in to keep you in this lifted position. Inhale as you slowly lower the arms back down towards the ground, stopping them right underneath your shoulders. And then exhale as you sweep those arms all the way back up to the side of those legs. Roll the shoulders down the back. And then inhale as you slowly lower those arms back down. Let's do that a few more times. Exhale, sweep those arms up. Inhale, lower those arms back down. And again, exhale, sweep the arms up. And inhale, lower those arms down. And the next time, let's keep those arms lifted up by the side of those legs. Hold it here. See if you can take it into slow swimming with our legs. Little alternating flutter kicks. Going particularly slow here so that those glutes and hammies have a nice little role to play. Meanwhile, all those muscles along your spine that we warmed up are active. And we're just looking straight down, slightly in front of the headrest. Holding your legs still, you can just have them be about four or five inches apart. Slowly open your arms out to the side, about shoulder height to create the letter T. As your hands come to your hips, lift your chest up a little bit higher. As the arms open to the side, look down, lower your chest parallel to the floor. As your hands come to your hips, exhale and lift your chest up a little bit higher. Three more times. Inhale, open the arms. Exhale, close. Last two. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. One more time. Legs are still active. Make sure they didn't fall asleep on you. Hold your hands at your thighs. Take it back into swimming. Five, four, should be burning. Three, two, and one. You can allow the carriage to come in. You can bend your knees. Let your feet windshield wiper side to side. Let your head go. Take a little recovery. Nice job, everyone. We've got one more to do. While we're in this position, might as well just knock it out. So I like to thread my hands through the straps just so that the straps aren't banging all over the reformer because it can be kind of loud. You're going to hold on to the ropes all the way in front of you here so that when you're in this position looking straight down, your biceps are in line with your ears. There's subtle tension on the straps where you're holding. Now we're going to take our arms, open them out to the side, bring them all the way to the hips, lift your chest up a little bit more. Slowly open the arms back out to the side and then bring them all the way forward in front of you. So you can think of this like a giant breaststroke. Pull those hands to those hips, lift your chest, extend the spine, and then slowly bring them back in front of you. Two more. Exhale, pull the hands to the hips. Lift the chest. Inhale, slowly bring the arms forward. And one more time here. Exhale, pull the hands to the hips, lift the chest. And then slowly bring the arms forward in front of you. Woo! You can ditch those down on the floor. You can bend your knees, let your body round forward, and let those feet fall side to side. Our back should be feeling really toasty after that. We're going to go ahead and stand up off of the box. And we're gonna stand inside the well at the back of the reformer here. So watch out for all your straps and everything. Just to give our back a little release after that, you're gonna grab onto your shoulder blocks. If your box is in the way, you can move it, just support it a little bit. Fingertips are gonna be on the shoulder rest and your hips are gonna to come towards the back of the reformer. Drop your chest through your arms. You can think of this like elephant stretch. We're going to, at least to start, from here, we're going to tuck the tailbone underneath you, round the spine, your arms stay straight the whole time, round the spine, pull the carriage towards your legs a little bit, just because you rounded your spine and came up. Then slowly resist the spring tension as the carriage comes back in towards the stopper, drop your chest through your arms. Exhale, tuck your tailbone underneath you. Round your spine. Now the carriage is only moving because we're rolling our spine up at about half of the way. Deep scoop in those abs, and then slowly let the carriage come forward in front of you. 
You should just lose spring tension. This should feel amazing. It's kind of like a standing cat and cow. Exhale, tuck your tailbone underneath you. Round your spine, keep your head down. And slowly, when you're ready, letting that carriage come back out into the stopper. You can bring your hands one at a time down towards the floor. Soften the knees if you need to or want to, and then roll your spine up one vertebrae at a time, letting your head be the last thing to arrive. Those shoulders will come up, down, and back. All right, and we'll stand up out of the well. Watch out for your stuff, don't trip on things. We're gonna pull the foot bar all the way up to the top setting, and then we're gonna change our spring setting to, I'm gonna go for a red and a blue today. Um, if you wanted to do something a little bit lighter, you could do a red and a white, or perhaps a red and a yellow if you're on a balanced body. Boxes are still on long ways. You need to have them all the way against your shoulder rest so that the box isn't going to slide. And we're going to lay down onto our belly. Chest comes off of the box. Heels of the hands come onto the bar in line with your shoulders. Now, let's get our arms in position first. So you're going to slide the carriage out approximately hmm, like four or five inches. You want to find the point where your shoulder is on top of your elbow and there is tension here to begin. Now, we bring the legs close together, if not all the way touching. We lift the legs up a little bit. Exhale as you push the carriage all the way out, straightening the arms. Inhales as you come back in, draw your elbows down towards the ground. And then again, exhale, push all the way out, straighten the arms. And then inhale, come back in, elbows towards the floor. So once you get going, the carriage does not hit the stopper. It comes close, but it doesn't quite touch. You can start to move at a medium tempo here. Exhale as you push out. Inhale, resistant. So anytime you're laying on your belly like this, those abs are pulled in, those legs are slightly lifted, and the muscles all along your spine are challenged. We'll take the next one out approximately halfway, little pulses of the carriage, out a few inches, in a few inches, so you can shrug your shoulders away from your ears. And then finish strong, press all the way out for five, and four, and three, two, and last time. We'll draw it all the way in. You can take your blue spring off. So one red spring should be pretty good for all of us. If you can scoot forward more, because chances are you got pushed back some like I did. You're gonna have the heels of your hands on the widest part of the bar. Slide all the way out, drop your chest through your arms, and let your feet separate about as wide as your hands. With straight arms, take an inhale to push through the heels of the hands, lift the chest, extend the spine. Now I want you to keep your pubic bone in contact with the box. Pull your shoulder blades away from your ears and pull your abs in. Don't forget about them. Exhale, push the carriage back out. Drop your chest heavy through your arms. Inhale, push down through the heels of the hands. Lift the chest. Extend the spine. It should feel so good. Exhale, press back out. Two more. Inhale, lift, extend. Scapulas down the back, abs in. Exhales, push out. Last time, inhale, lift, extend the spine. And exhales, press it out. Bend the elbows, go ahead and draw your carriage all the way back in. You can keep that red spring on. And we're gonna make our way to seated on the box. You're gonna need both of your straps, so grab those. And we will sit with our feet on the headrest. And you're gonna hold on to the rope part right above the silver clasp again. Scoot your tush all the way forward because you want all of your box space behind you because we're gonna be laying down onto our back. So if you're ready to begin, sit nice and tall, take an inhale through your nose. Exhale, squeeze your tush. Think of rounding through your lower vertebrae first as you sequentially roll the spinal column down one vertebrae at a time straight through the center of your spine. Now we'll just come to the bottom tips of our shoulder blades, so we're kind of in like our 100s prep position, scapulas off the box. 
Lower back's imprinted, chin's at the chest or towards the chest, looking at those knees. Abs are engaged. Now you're gonna take an exhale as you start to slowly roll yourself up. Inhale, sitting up nice and tall. Exhale, round through the lumbar spine, roll down. One vertebrae at a time, piece by piece. Just to the bottom tips of your scapula are good. And then exhales to slowly roll your spine back up. So your arms really aren't doing anything. They're just a little extra assistance here. They stay straight the entire time. And one more time, roll yourself back up. So if that feels good and that's where you want to stay with this exercise, you can continue doing that. If you like doing extension work, you can walk your butt back more towards about the middle of the box. We're going to roll down so that the scapulas come off of the box and do a slight back bend slash extension with a row, you'll see. So exhale as you roll down. It's one of my favorites, but if your back doesn't cooperate. It might not be for you today. That's okay. So shoulder blades come off the back. I'm going to bend my elbows, pull my hands towards my armpits, extend my spine, then extend my arms straight as I nod my chin towards my chest, press the lower vertebrae into the box. So I'm rolling through imprint and then roll the spine up the rest of the way. Let's do that two more times. If this is not great for you, you're not liking it, you can just stick to the one that we were doing before. Take an inhale as you bend your elbows, pull your hands towards your armpits, let it go, let your head go. Nod your chin towards your chest as you straighten your arms, and then roll yourself all the way back up. One more time. Exhale, squeeze your tush, slide your tailbone underneath you, roll it down. Inhale, bend the elbows, extend the spine, back bend. Extend the arms straight, nod the chin towards the chest, and then roll your spine all the way back up. All right, good. Hopefully that felt great on your back. That's one of my favorite exercises on the box here. We will stand up from there. We'll put the boxes back down in front of the reformer or wherever you put your box. Just get it out of your way and then we'll come back to the reformer. We're gonna change our setting down to, or up to, a red and a blue. You will need both of your straps again, so let's hang those up. Make sure they're not all twisted and tangled so that you're set to go. Now I'm going to keep your headrest down because we're gonna be doing short spine and long spine, of course. So we'll lay down onto our back, heels on the foot bar, press the carriage out so that your legs are straight. Once you're out there, you can grab your straps, lasso the right foot into the strap, gain tension, and then hook the left one on. All right. So we will start with just a few up and down motions with those legs, just to get into our straps and figure out where our pelvis is at the moment. It should be neutral, so you should have a soft, natural curve in the small of your lower back. So exhale as you press the legs down. Inhale as those legs come up. And again, exhale as you press those legs down using those glutes and hammies. Inhale resisting coming up. Let's turn the legs out into a Pilates V, heels together, toes apart. From here, the legs are gonna come up towards the ceiling. You're gonna let them continue going as far back as they can, keeping them straight and keeping your tailbone rooted to the carriage. When you cannot go any further, like this is my stopping point, I'm gonna allow my tailbone to start to curl off the carriage so that my carriage comes into the stopper. My abs are gonna help facilitate rolling the spine up so that I'm up on my shoulders, not on my neck, on my shoulders. Gonna keep the carriage still into the stopper, bend the knees coming into a Pilates V, your frog. Keep your feet where they are, roll your spine down part of the way. When you cannot keep your feet where they are anymore, you'll have to start to press through the straps, through the heels, press the tailbone down into the carriage, and extend the legs back out to about 45 degrees. 
Legs come back to parallel. Inhale, the legs lift to the ceiling. Exhale as you start to sequentially roll the spine up. Carriage comes oops, into the stopper, hopefully a little more gracefully than that just was. Reach your arms forward, keep your shoulders out of your ears. Bend your knees, Pilates V. Keep your feet where they are. Keep this distance between your hips and ribs. Don't collapse into a ball. Roll the spine slowly back down, one vertebrae at a time. When you cannot keep your feet where they are anymore, you're gonna to start to press the spine down, press through the straps, and press all the way back out to two straight legs. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, legs lift. Exhale, let the legs go back. Sequentially roll the spine up. So we're gonna have lots of spinal articulation today. Our backs are gonna feel amazing at the end of this class. Bend the knees, heels together, toes apart. Sequentially roll the spine all the way down. Getting the tailbone down, press through the straps, all the way back out to two straight legs. And I think we'll, we'll skip long spine because it's just so much articulation. We don't wanna overdo it. Um, if you would like to have your headrest up now, you can. We're going to move into some of our stretches here. So two straight legs come up to the ceiling. We're going to grab onto the rope just below the metal clasp. Flex your feet like you're standing on the ceiling and pull down on the straps. You should feel a nice stretch through your hamstrings all the way up into your calves. Take some deep breaths. Then we'll bend the knees, bring the soles of the feet together for a quick butterfly stretch. Let the feet fold down towards the springs. Try to keep your ribs connected. Don't let your back be excessively arched here. You can open your right leg off to the side, continue pulling on the strap. Bring it back in, open the left leg off to the side. Keep even weight across the backs of your uh, sit bones. Bringing it back in. One more final stretch with those legs back up to the sky for those hammies. And then we'll go ahead and take those legs out of those straps. One at a time, find the bar, and then you can ditch those straps down onto the ground. We'll sit ourselves all the way up. We're gonna sit facing the foot bar with this one leg on either side. You wanna come close enough so you can easily hang onto the bar. Have your left hand on the bar and reach your right arm up to the ceiling. We'll take a nice inhale, grow taller through the spine and bend to the left. Keep even weight through your sit bones. And then coming up from there, you're gonna twist, reach around, grabbing onto your back shoulder block. Either one, whatever one you can hold on to. The other hand is at the front of the bar. I like to press into that hand so that you can get a little extra leverage. My hip bones are still facing the foot bar, they didn't go with me. And then you can slowly untwist, and then we'll do the other side. So right hand on the bar, left arm comes up, reach up and over to the right hand side. Feel a stretch through those ribs. And come all the way back up, twisting around, grabbing onto a shoulder block with that left hand. Right hand comes to the front of the bar, Pressing into the bar to get a deeper twist with your spine. And then slowly uncurl. We'll go ahead and take that blue spring off. Hold onto the foot bar with your hands and we'll stand up for elephant stretch. Walk your heels all the way back to your shoulder blocks and drop your chest heavy through your arms. Keeping your heels down, give your carriage a gentle rock back and forth. Again, stretching out those hamstrings and calves, but you should also feel this kind of all through your spine. We'll draw the carriage in. Take your right hand, grab onto the outside of your left calf or ankle, whatever you can reach. Use that arm to twist through the spine a little bit more, looking underneath your left shoulder. If you prefer, you can give the carriage a little rock back and forth there too. If it's too intense or your hamstrings are tight, Definitely feel free to bend your knees. Replacing your right hand onto the bar. Left hand grabs the outside of your right calf. Pull yourself underneath your right shoulder. Drop your head. And then give that carriage a gentle rock back and forth. 
So hamstrings attach into our sit bones and they can really yank our pelvis into a pretty severe posterior tilt if they're too tight, which can wreak havoc on your back. So that's why we're doing a little hamstring releasing with the spine class because we would be not good if we left that out. Just finish that off with a little child's pose. I'm not quite done yet, but just take a nice child's pose after that. Big toes can be together. You can open your knees as wide as is comfortable for you. Maybe take some movements side to side with your torso. If you can, keep your heels and hips connected. Round your spine as you slowly draw the carriage in. Hands can then come onto the knees. Then we're gonna take our hands onto the shoulder blocks, your thumbs facing out to the sides of your room, palms facing forward towards your body. Gently press into the uh, quadriceps here. We're gonna stretch the quads and extend the spine and shoulders. If you like to let your head go back, you can. If that's not comfortable on your neck, you can just keep your gaze forward. Try not to hyperextend your elbows here. I know it's difficult in this position. And then gently place those hips back down onto the heels. Reach one arm up towards the ceiling, push the hips forward, twist and look down at that hand that's still on the shoulder block. And then gently place those hips back down. We'll do the other side, reaching up the other arm, press the hips forward, twist, arch, look back at that bottom hand and then placing those hips all the way back down. And we'll finish with mermaid, because who doesn't want mermaid? So you're gonna <laughs> sit facing towards me, hopefully. Have one leg up in front of you and your other shin bone goes perfectly against your two shoulder rests. One hand on the bar right towards the front, other arm comes out to the side. We're gonna press the carriage out, take a nice big side bend, reach over. And coming up from there, grab onto your front shoulder block, pull it towards you, and take a side bend here. Let's repeat that. Hand comes down onto the bar towards the front. Other arm comes out. We reach up and over. And coming up from there, grab your front shoulder block, lift up your arm, and take a side bend. Coming up two shoulders squared off to the foot bar. My hands are as wide as the bar. I'm gonna slide the carriage out, drop the chest heavy through the arms. Keeping the arms straight, press down through the heels of the hands, lift the chest, extend the spine. Exhale to press through the heels of the hands, drop your chest. One more is good. Inhale, lift, draw the carriage all the way in. Exhale, twist around, one hand on each shoulder block. Gaze over your back shoulder. While your shoulders are rotating one way, your hips are rotating the other way. You can let go of those blocks. We'll flip ourselves around for the other side. So one leg is against the shoulder rest. Your other leg is tucked up in front of you. Hand on the bar towards the front. You're gonna press the carriage out, take a nice big side bend. Feel length through that top oblique and coming back up. Grab a hold of your front shoulder block, pull it towards you and take a side bend towards the shoulder rest. Repeating, one hand on the bar, press the carriage out, take a big side bend and coming back up, grab your front shoulder block, pull it towards you and take your side bend. Two hands as wide as the foot bar, square shoulders off. Slide the carriage out, drop your chest heavy through your arms. Two times, take an inhale, lift your chest, draw the carriage forward. Exhales, press the carriage out, drop your chest through your arms. Last time, take an inhale, lift the chest, draw the carriage all the way in. Exhale, twist around, one hand on each shoulder block. Gazing back over your shoulder as much as you can. Turn your spine, turn your head. At the same time, feel your hips rotating in the opposite direction. A little counter twist. And then you can let go of those shoulder rests. We'll go ahead and stand up off of our reformer just to kind of center ourselves so we're not ending on a crazy twist. Just take a nice 
position on the floor, standing with your feet parallel. We'll take an inhale, sweep the arms all the way up overhead. Interlace your fingertips here. Flip the palms of your hands up to face the ceiling. Do a slight back bend. Release the arms, swan dive all the way down to get big forward fold. Once down, bend your knees, take a hold of opposite elbows. Let your body gently sway side to side. Let your head go up into your ears or your ears go up into your head. And then with your hands along your legs in a tight core, very slowly restack your spine one vertebrae at a time. Let your head be the last thing to arrive. Take those shoulders all the way up to your ears, all the way down your back. Keep them there the rest of your day. I hope you guys feel great. Your backs feel nice and strong, but also stretched out. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.